hello friends in this video i am going to show you the attributes of image filter view in android studio so here this is the app which i created in one of my previous videos and i had an image here image view and a button here this is button one and image view one and in main activity at the top i declared the image view as image one then i defined an int called pick file in on create i define this button and image view using their id and then set on click listener for button one uh, when button one is clicked i use intent with action open document and type image to pick an image file here i have this start activity for result intent pick file which i use to pick an image file and outside on create i have this on activity result method in which if the request code is pick file and result code is result okay and if data is not null means the int if the intent is not null then i get the data from the intent and set it as the uri and i use this uri to set the image of image one which is image view one so now here instead of image view i will be using image filter view so i will go to main activity and here I will be converting this image view to image filter view. So this is the image view. I will just remove this from here and I will add image filter view. This is Android X dot constraint layout dot utils dot widget dot image filter view. Now for this image filter view, I will keep the ID to image view one width wrap content height wrap content scale type fit center the constraints i will let it be same this this constraint sets the position of this image in the constraint layout and then the source of the image is sample of tars okay now let's add attributes here attributes of image filter view so here we'll have this we have this image filter view and you can see that it has these attributes alt source provides an alternative image to the source image so we can add an alternative image also then the saturation can be set to 0 1 or 2 0 is gray scale means black and white 1 is original and 2 is hyper saturated so let's check this saturation app colon saturation and if we set it to zero you can see it becomes this image becomes black and white and if we set it to two it becomes hyper saturated when we set it to one it becomes normal we can set it anywhere between that also like 0 0.5 has less saturation and 1.5 has higher saturation so we'll keep 1.5 here now this seems fine now if you have to use this app colon saturation then in your codes you must have this line of code xmlns app equal to this url in the root layout then next we'll add the attribute brightness zero is for black one is original and two is twice as bright app colon brightness zero means the image becomes completely black if we make it one it is normal if we make it two it becomes very bright and if we make it 0 0.5 you can see it is dark but it is not completely black 0 0.8 seems fine okay we can make it even more brighter by adding 1.4 as it is very bright we will make it 1.2 that this seems fine now let's move to the next attribute this is warmth and it can be 1 equal to neutral to warm and 5 0.5 is cold
so warmth 0 0.5 is cold okay 0 is very cold 1 is neutral 2 is warm okay and if we if we set it to 200 it is very very warm and if we set it to minus 100 it doesn't change much it is same as zero okay so zero is cold 0 0.5 is cold and two is warm we'll set it to one here next attribute is contrast can be one unchanged zero gray and two high contrast so it can be 0, 1 and 2. When, when we set it to 0, it becomes completely black. 1 is normal and 2 is very high contrast. And if we set it anywhere between 0 0.5, you can see it is dark. 0 0.8 is little brighter. 1.4 is even brighter. Where we will set it to 1.1. Let's move to next attribute. This is crossfade. Crossfade sets the current mix between two images. Zero is for source and one is for alt source. So for this, if we have alt source image, we can set the fade of it between zero and one. So let's add an alternative image. Alt source. And here I have this image IC underscore action underscore name. So when I add this, you can see it is not visible here. Now I will add crossfade. So if I add crossfade 0, it will not be visible. And if I add crossfade 1, you can see it is visible over this image. And if I set anywhere between like 0 0.5. You can see it is visible but with lighter fade. If we make it minus 1, then also it will be visible. If we make it 0, then it will not be visible. Okay, so I will set it to 0 for now. Next attribute is round and round percent so let's add this here round round we can add 10 dp and you can see that this adds round corners of 10 dp if we increase it to 30 dp you can see the corners become even more rounded for this image and if i increase it to say 100 dp you can see it completely becomes a circle it becomes a circle only if it is a square image if it is a rectangle image then the corners will be round but it will be an oval it will not be a circle so instead of round we can use round percent also uh, here i will add round percent So round percent can be 0, 0 is completely square and it can be anywhere between 0 and 1. 1 is a circle for this square image, if, let's set it between 0 0.4. So you can see this as round images, round corners. Okay, now let's use it in our activity. So instead of defining it as an image view, I will define it as image filter view. Okay, here it has imported this and now it is an image filter view. 
the definition will remain same find view by id because the id is same and rest all the methods will be same so let's check this app so in this when i click on pick file and pick this image you can see now it has rounded corners and it is a little more bright so that's why in this video thank you very much for watching this